you can almost say it's genetics. My grandfather was a firefighter, my father was a firefighter, and I've always wanted to be a firefighter. Since my firefighter grandma. Ryan Snyder remembers remembering, he was showing dirty, signs yeah, of what fire. was to come. I have a photo hanging on my wall from when I was like two in a firefighter costume that I would not take off. As a Roseville fire explorer, he got more exposure to the job, eventually becoming a full-time firefighter paramedic for White Bear Lake last year. When I first had my career decision of, I want to be a firefighter, it was fight fire, I'm going to save people's lives, and now it's a lot of firefighting, especially here at White Bear, we do a lot of medical calls. But you might argue that those medical calls are, can sometimes be even more important than the fire calls. For someone so new, he was called to provide a service some firefighters never will in their careers. Yet he handled it with clarity and calm. And there we found um, the individual who was in the process of giving birth, you know, in some pretty significant pain, obviously from childbirth. And first question I asked was, do you think you can make it to the hospital? But she was like, no, the baby's coming. And so at that point, we prepared to give birth. In a basement filled with people, including family and members of the sheriff's department, he managed to block them all out and focus on the mother, helping her through contractions. And you see the head, and you're like, oh, yes, so here it comes. And at that point, um, out comes the head. And then we noticed that the, I noticed the umbilical cord was wrapped just around the child's neck. So that can potentially be a dangerous um, outcome. And so at that point, I slipped the umbilical cord off around the child's head and we continued giving birth with no other issues. The baby was blue, but Snyder and his partner, Joe Gibbs, got her crying and got baby and mom to the hospital. The emotions came later, but it was a very I don't want to say anxiety filled in the moment. There was a little anxiety later when I was documenting and kind of realizing, oh my, I really just did that, you know. In a line of work where one will likely see more death than birth, Snyder is grateful for the experience crediting education and training as paramount to his success. He's caught some ribbing for his role among more senior staff, but he knows it's in fun. And then you him after you. <laughs> and he ranks this event in his top three with many years ahead for this young man who knows what else the job or life has in store. It's just another experience in the experience book that I'll remember and it's a great teaching tool, right? Um, like I said, it's an event that some people might not experience in their lives, but I was lucky enough to. It's been a good experience for me.